All right, welcome to Marooned Part 2, the uh, the second half. And uh, we are still in standard tuning with this one. We're still working in the key of B minor, and we are working within the B natural minor scale. And uh, we left off at about the two and a half minute mark with this lick. <laughs> And that leads into this. So this is the first little chunk of uh, the solo that we're going to have a look at. So let's break that down. So we're starting with uh, on the 17th fret, uh, our pinky on the 17th fret of the high E, and our ring finger here on 17 of the B, and you're gonna double stop bend that, just the B string, do not bend the E string. And when you get that up there, you give it a little bit of vibrato. And then you're gonna grab that single uh, string alone, the B string, and give it three or four more little bends. So kind of like this. So it's kind of like three little up, down, ups. And then we're into this. So we're sliding into 16 of the G, down to 14 and back to 16, 14 of the B. Then on to 15 of the B, down to 14 of the high E. into this. So we're going to uh, 12 of the B, little half step bend at 14 of the B, and then down to 12 of the high E. And then up to 15 of the B, back down to 12 of the high E. Kind of like that. So you're going to repeat that little lick three times. So we're starting that little lick on the 14th of the uh, high E, up to 15 for a bend, and then down to 12 of the high E. So you're going to repeat that three times. And then you're going to drop onto that 14 of the high E, and then you're going to do pull off all in one motion, 15, 14 to 12, hammer on back to 14. And then you're going to do it again. And then when you land on that 14 the second time, you're going to raise the pitch with the, uh, the whammy uh, pedal up one full octave. And then when you get that note up there, you're going to go 15, 12, 14, picking every note and then slide it into 19. So, up to that point, slowly. Raise pitch. And that takes for care of the first little chunk of that solo. So we've got our pitch still raised, and then we're into this little chunk. So we're taking that 19th fret, sliding it back to 17, and then back to uh, 14. And then we're, we're kind of triple hitting these. It's just right up the scale. So back to 14, then up to 17 of the B, and then back to uh, 15 of the B, and then back to 14 of the B. And then 16 to 14, back to 16. So that's that little lick there.
And then we're into this. Just a little bend, bend release at 16, off to 14, back on to 16. And then we're gonna, we're gonna go 16 of the G, down to 15 of the B, and then back to 16 of the G. Into a full step bend. And then right back down, after the full step bend, right back down to 15. And then you're going to hit that note at 15, and then you're going to hit it again and give it another bend. So this is a little tricky because you're, you're bouncing back and forth here between uh, 16 of the G and uh, 15 of the B, and you're, you're bending notes and bending them with different fingers. So I'm using my two middle fingers here. So from the beginning here. So now we're going to do a little pull off from 15 to 14 to 12, back onto 14, back onto 15. So the, the initial pull off is all in one motion. And then pick the last two notes when you go back onto 14, 15. And remember, we still have our pitch raised one octave here. So when you go back to that 15, you pull off. You're going to pull off again. And this time you're going to pull off, grab the 14 of the uh, G and back down to 12 and then back to 14 of the G for a full step bend. And then you're going to pull that, that bend off to the 11th fret and kill the note. Kind of like that. So from here again. Now we're going to start doing some bends between the 11 and the 14, pulling off to 11. Like four times I think you're going to do that. Bend, release, pull off, bend, release, pull off, bend, release, pull off, 14 to 11. And after the fourth time you're going to grab onto the 15th fret of the B and give it a full step bend. And then you're going to go... 15 off to 14, 15, 17, up to 19. And you know, these bends, you get them up there. If you have them up there for any length of time whatsoever, you're adding lots of vibrato. And then to finish this whole phrase, bent that a little too much. 12 to 14 of the B, little half step bend release, and one more little half step bend release, and then finish off on the 12. The whole phrase finishes up on the, uh, the 12 of the B. And then you kill the octave, and that leads into this little trill. But uh, let's recap that whole uh, uh, start of the second half up to that point.
and that's pretty much the first half of the second half of the solo. And now we're into, uh, we release the, uh, the pitch back to normal pitch, and we do a little trill here between 12 and 15 of the B into uh, a two-step bend at the 15th fret. So let me play the first little, little uh, maybe the first 10 seconds or so of this section. So a lot of bends. Everything's going on in the 12-15 here. Sometimes full step bends, sometimes two step bends, trills, you know, lots of fun. Two step bend to begin. And then uh, you're gonna release it off to 12 and then go into a, a full step bend, kind of like a little double pumps. So, two step. And then a little pull off from 12 to 15, back into another two step bend. So let me just, uh, you, you can see what we're doing here. We're, we're working just on the 12-15. So get this little pattern going, this little bending pattern. So after the trill, two step, one step, pull off, another two step, and then 12 to 15 into another bend. And then you're going to go 15, 14, 12, and just reverse it, 12, 14, 15. So that little whole phrase from the trill. Uh, so when you get back to that 15, now you're going to do another pull off, 15 to 14 to 12. Same little lick that we did earlier, pulling off all in one motion, 15, 14, 12, up to 14 of the G, and then back to a 12 of the B. Into a full step bend at 14 with vibrato. And then we're going to move down here into this position of the B minor, a little blues type of pattern, bending a nine, riding down the uh, sevens of the B and the high E, onto the ten, off to the seven, back onto the ten. And then when you get back onto that ten, you're going to raise the pitch up a full octave. And here in the solo, he just goes crazy with, with slides and, and trills and up and down on the whammy pedal. So kind of like this. So we're coming... You know, he's just doing trills and whatnot, slides into that 10. You know, just making a whole lot of noise. And then finally at the end of it, he grabs that 10 of the B, cranks down on the octave pedal, uh, so it's, it's down a full octave or up a full octave. And then he grabs that note and gives it a full step bend. So up to that point from, uh, from the trill. to this with the uh, the pedal down still up an octave so let's break that little phrase apart okay so it starts with a pull off from 10 to 7 and then you're going to slide from 10 into 12 back to 10 for a double hit. And then we're going to do a little triplets kind of down the scale. From like 7, 
sorry, 9 to 7 to 5. Or I like to go up here, instead of the 5 on the E, I like to go up here to the 10 on the B. And sliding into that uh, 10th fret of the B for a triple hit. And then we're into this. That lovely little scale run there. So we're going from 7 on the uh, B up to 9 of the G, and then back to 7. On to the 10, slide it into 12 of the B. Back to a 7, back on to 10. Up to 9 of the G, back to 7. And then you're going to roll up to the 7 of the G, slide it back to 6. And then we're going to go up to the 9 of the D, back to the 7, up to the 9 of the A, and then finish the whole phrase off on the 7th of the D. So. So that's that lick there. And then we're going to finish with that lick before moving on to the next, which is just a slide into 11, going down to the 10 of the B, off to the 9 of the G. And now we're going to do a little scale run going this way, up the E string. For a short scale run. So we're going uh, 8 to 10 again of the B down to 8 of the high E. You're going to hit it like three times before you go on to the 10, sorry, the 9 of the E. And then kind of a little scale run up to the 12 for a triple hit. And then one final uh, little part of that run from uh, 10 to 12 to 14. And then we're into this. So a uh, full step bend at the 12th fret of the high E and hit it a couple of times when it's up there and then release it. Well, actually, just hit it once when you get it up there. Pick it, release it, and then pick it again. And then pull off 10 to 9. Up to the 10, up to the 11 of the G. Back down to the 10, slide it into 12. And then finishing this whole phrase. So you're gonna gonna take the uh, the ten of the B, pull it off to seven, and then drop the pitch. As the moment you pull it off to the seven, you're gonna drop the pitch. So that whole phrase from uh, when we start this little, sorry, pedal down. Slide. Back to twelve, bend. And now our pedal is released, and then we're into this. And 
that's the next little phrase that we're going to do. So with the pedal release, sliding into nine, down to seven, little bend release off to seven back onto nine. And then you're going to do that very quickly, kind of very similar to what we just did. So a little bend release off to seven, up to nine, back to seven, back to uh, nine, but quicker than we did the first time. Kind of like that. And then we're into this lovely little phrase. So we're sliding uh, from nine into 11 down to 10 of the B. Now we're going to hit the 10, the 12 of the B, and the 10 of the high E, bouncing off the 11 of the G every time. And then finally up to the 12 of the high E. So string skipping going on here. And then the last one, when you go up to the 12, you're going to roll up to the 12 of the B and then back down to the 12 of the high E. And then take that note, slide it into 14. Now into 17. And then raise the pitch. So that whole phrase. and then pull it off to 14, back it up to 12 for a full step bend, and then 12, 10, half step bend release at uh, nine, double hit at uh, 10 of the B, and that's the last little lick there for that whole phrase. 9 of the uh, D down to 7 onto 9 of the G, little bend release. And then back onto the 9 of the D, and the moment you do, you release the, uh, the pitch pedal. Kind of like that, so you're getting the natural note on the 9. So that whole phrase again, uh, starting from the little ascending pattern here. last lick of the solo and it goes like this and uh, so we're going 10 to 12, little half step bend release, and then slide into 17 of the B string. And then this little lick, 15 of the B, 14 on to 15 of the B, 12 to 14 of the B. Roll up and get a full step bend on the 14 of the G string. And then it finishes up with just a beautiful little lick. That's the first one. Sliding into 16. Right down this little triad here. Uh, we're on uh, 16, 15, and 14 on respective strings. 
and then start the whole thing over again, skip back up to the G string, and then back to the B. And then the second time, instead of going to the 14, you're going to go to the 17 of the high E. And now this little repeating pattern. And so each time you do that, little doublets here. So from 16 on the uh, on the G down to 14, and then the next time on to the uh, seven on to the 14 to the 17 of the high E. So you're going to repeat that little pattern three times, and each time you play it, you're going to be uh, pressing down on the pedal and releasing the pedal for each pattern. Down. Release. Down. And then stop the, after the third time on that 14th fret. And those are the last four notes. 17. Down to 14 of the high E. Pull off. Uh, 16 to 14, back onto 16 of the G string, and that is the end of the uh, the whole song, the whole instrumental. So uh, let's run through from um, from here. And that is how you play that one. So I'm going to run through the entire second half of uh, of this solo before we finish, and uh, at a fairly relaxed pace, even though it's a fairly relaxed pace to begin with. But uh, so starting right from the very beginning. <laughs>
that, my friends, is How You Play Marooned by David Gilmore. Just a gorgeous uh, guitar instrumental, that. And uh, I certainly hope that helped you out, and I certainly hope it was clear and not too confusing. It's a lot to, uh, to get through because there's very, very little repetition in the, you know, over five minutes long, this uh, uh, basically a five minute long guitar solo. So uh, anyway, drop me a subscribe. That would be awfully nice. And, uh, you know, hit the notification bell uh, so you know when I upload something new. And uh, take care of yourselves. Good luck with that. Have fun with it. Uh, it's a great piece. And uh, we'll see you next time. Cheers.